for the introduction to any argument essay for AP English Language and Composition. I think that you want to have at least three sentences and the middle sentence could be expanded upon to create a longer introduction, although I don't think it's necessary if your second sentence is clear. So I personally, if I were writing an argument essay, I would begin the introduction with either the quote or the concept that they're asking about on the AP English language exam. I went back from to 2014 and I looked at the prompts. 22 was a quote from Colin Powell. 21 was the concept of perfection. There wasn't one in 20 because of COVID. 19 was the concept of the unknown or the concept of the overrated. It depended on what exam you got. 18 was a quote from Ann Morrow Lindbergh. 17 was a quote from Chris Hedges. 16 was a quote from Oscar Wilde. 15 was the concept of polite speech. I hate that one. 14 is the concept of a creativity crisis in our schools. So even the quotes have concepts within them and even the concepts have quotes with that sort of help explain what they are. So even though I divided them into these two categories, they overlap quite a bit. So my first sentence in the introduction would be to either write out the quote or to say this question is about the particular concept that you're addressing. My second sentence would then be my interpretation of the quote or my definition of the concept, my personal definition. We don't want dictionary definitions. Teachers can look up words in the dictionary, or we probably know the, the definition already. So we don't want to know that. We want to know your personal uh, definition of, of the concept. So that second sentence, if it's clear enough, would probably be enough to define or explain the quote and the concept. However, if you wanted to add more sentences of definition, more sentences of explanation, that would be fine. That would be okay. You would just be taking time away from the, from the time that you could spend on the body of the essay, but probably not that much if we're talking about a sentence or two. The third sentence in your introduction, the third necessary sentence in your introduction, would then be your position on that quote or your position on that concept. And that's extremely important. That third sentence is what gets you the defensible thesis point in column A of the AP English language uh, rubric. 